I always wanted to have one of those kit builds, a i3 Mark III S. But no, it's not a from a Prusa, it's from AliExpress. Vistec, is it any good? How is the quality? What do I think about it? Well, let's find it out together. Less than 300 USD. Right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Well, several months ago, I bought a Vistec i3 Mark III S on AliExpress for less than 300 euros. And my expectations are not that high since it is a clone kit and I really don't know what I'm going to get. But let's find it out together and I'll show you in time lapse the whole build of the Prusa i3 Mark III S clone kit. I do need to say that this is actually a build that takes more than six hours. So let's uh, fast forward it and I'll go over it what I think about the assembly. The unboxing of the Vistec. I do need to say that this is a very compact box with several smaller boxes inside of there. Everything is well packed, everything is also labeled, but there is no instruction manual how to assemble it. Therefore, you are going to the Prusa website and you are going to assemble it according to the i3 Mark III S manual. I came very close to a point where I was going to install the extruder. I do need to say that the extruder is one of the most challenging parts of the whole build because there are some springs, there are some bearings, there are some other th components that makes this build pretty, you know, challenging. But you know, I did manage it. I didn't have to go for switching the magnets because if you are going to build this kit, you have to look how the magnets are going to be installed into the, the extruder. If you mess that part up, your filament run out sensor is not going to work. I can already tell you that. But further, the whole extruder came out very nicely. I do like this type of extruder from the i3 Mark III S build. The whole extruder build, it's fun, but it is also giving you some challenges along the way. There are some more challenges coming but that you will need to keep watching because the wiring is also going to be a thing. Oh yeah, we are going to install the electronics and also doing the wiring. I need to say that this, keep an eye on your wires because if you are messing this part up, it's going to give you some trouble. So keep an eye on the instructions and also check your wirings every single time. But after that, you will have some nice wiring where you can be proud of. You can uh, tap your shoulder that you challenge this part pretty nicely. And you know, we all like it, some nice wiring. 
because we are nerds, right? Let's continue with the rest. Once the whole assembly is done, there's one thing that you can do is starting Prusa Slicer, download the latest firmware for the i3 Mark 3S and then connect your i3 Mark 3S with Prusa Slicer and flash the firmware to the latest version of the Prusa clone. Once that is done, we are going to print the first things. Calibration Cube, a Benji, I have printed those as well. I do need to say that after that, I was really pumped because I can use a normal i3 Mark 3S profile on Prusa Slicer. And you know what? I have printed these amazing models already on the i3 Mark 3S. you might be thinking where can I get one of those printers as well for less than 300 euros or 300 USD depending on where you live well check out the link in the description where you can buy one of those 5 stack i3 Mark 3s 3d printer kits it's just amazing it's so nice to assemble a whole 3d printer from scratch just just nice it's I mean for less than 300 euros I cannot really complain about it right now, but officially this isn't a review yet. I will do that in a couple of uh, weeks and I will tell you more about the ins and outs about this 3D printer and also the other models that I'm going to print on this 3D printer. But if you don't want to wait on that, check out the link in the description where you can buy the Fistec i3 Mark III S kit. It is an affiliate, you will sponsor this channel without you paying anything extra. And hey, if you are supporting already, hey, check out how you can also support this YouTube channel. We have a lot of recurring viewers. Hey, hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, hit the like button. And uh, you know, check out this amazing video where I'm talking about a nice slice of software right here.